Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Buckstone Valley Ranch, designed by Wizard Sticks 23. Now I've gone for the the blue tee, which is 7,437 yards. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Okay, first hole, par four. Now, as you could probably notice, I'm actually playing as Matthew Fitzpatrick, PGA Tour pro from Great Britain. So it's uh, really nice to see him in the game. So... I went for medium winds, but that's a 10 mile an hour one. That's that's quite high for medium. It's a nice swing to open the round. Okay, we've got 130 yards to go, slightly uphill, but it's also into the wind. Okay, let's go with a pitching wedge here. Take a little bit off it by increasing the, the loft. Well, I pulled it. Swing plane was not good. It's coming back on the wind a bit, though. Got a chance of a birdie here. Yes, just. I thought that was going to slide by, but it managed to hang on. Par five here at the second. 600 yards. It's into the wind as well. This is going to be a three-shotter for sure. Oh, that's a little left. Get lucky. Kick right. No, it's in trouble. Okay, it's in the first cut, so not too bad. It's going to be a three-shotter anyway. Not too bad a lie. Need to try and avoid that bunker, though. But as you can see, the fairway kind of gathers into that bunker. So this is going to be... Unless I lay up again. Let's try that. Let's try the five iron. A bit nervous about this one. That's a good shot. Safely on the fairway. About 110 yards to go. Kick right. Oh, we've got a lovely little bounce to the right. Good opportunity for Birdie here at the second.
par three at the third, 158 yards. Ever so slightly downhill, so it's going to be playing about 155. Wind off the left. Increase the loft a fraction. Oh dear, that's a terrible swing. That needs a very lucky bounce. Oh, not quite. Okay. This is going to be difficult. Trying to stop this one. Maximise the loft and the spin, but coming at a heavy rough, I don't think it's going to make that much difference. That's not bad. Chance to save par here. Yeah, I'd like to apologise for not doing much content recently. I've been I've been busy. We've had a decent spell of weather here in the UK, or at least in the southwest of England where I live. And I've been playing a lot of real golf. Trying out my new driver. I've just purchased a Callaway Paradigm driver. And I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Oh, that was a nasty bounce into the rough. Okay. 134 yards uphill, add on about 9, 1, 4, 3, just try and get it on the green if I can. No, the swing wasn't too bad but the ball was well above my feet. Oh no, I've got a similar shot to what I had on the par 3. I can't see me getting down in 2 again. That's asking a lot. This is such a difficult shot. Everything runs away from me here. not going to stop yeah okay that's not too bad at all actually any straight putt here for par yeah the other thing I've been doing recently as well that's taken me away from this game is I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy on the on the Xbox Series X, and that game is absolutely brilliant. It's a nice drive. Wind behind. I wonder if I can club down a bit here. There is an upslope, which if I hit that, the ball is not going to go anywhere. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is hit the six iron, but I'm going to increase the loft quite a bit. I've hit that 104%, which hopefully I'll get away with. I didn't really mean to hit it that hard. Yeah, it's gone a bit long. I 
can't remember. Oh, yes, I can. These greens are... I left it at the default, and from memory, I think it was medium fast. I didn't read that one very well. I've not been reading my putts very well recently and I've struggled a bit on TG Tours this week. My final round on the Elite Tour, I just couldn't hold a putt. I was hitting the greens and I was giving myself opportunities and I just couldn't hold anything. Now then, this is back into the breeze, 217. I'm going to go with a 5 wood, but I'm going to take a lot of the loft off. So to decrease the carry... Oh dear, another bad swing. Oh my goodness me, that's shocking. This is going to be a tricky up and down. Not bad. Thankfully, it was a fairly straight putt to save par. Not doing very well on the par threes at the moment. I've struggled. It's a nice view there. You've got the green with the, the lake behind it. If the wind was behind, this is potentially drivable. But unfortunately, I'm hitting into the breeze. So I'm not going to reach. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that's OK. It's on the fairway. 47 yards to go. Okay, let's try. This might look a bit weird, but what I do with these sorts of shots, if they're around the 50 yard mark, is go to a full 67 yard pitch and then maximise my loft to take all of the distance off it. I shouldn't need to put any backspin on it, but there is a danger this might go a little too far. Hopefully the wind might help a little bit here. Oh, that's a terrible swing. Distance wise was good though. Yeah, nice up and down. Now there's an uncanny resemblance between Matthew Fitzpatrick and one of my nephews. Uh, 
this is a dog leg right par four, 460 yards that's okay it's quite a generous fairway this one nice and wide now the approach shot here is 155 yards slight breeze behind pitching wedge is looking pretty good I think distance wise needs to get down and kick right Go and get down. Oh, what a lovely roll down towards the flag. If you can hear some knocking in the background, I do apologise. I think my next door neighbour is doing some DIY. Right, now then what we've got here, the ninth hole, we close out the front nine with a par four, 440 yards. I love that building, I just kind of have a quick look at that building to the right. Like, a, like an old barn from the Wild West. Oh no, uh, that's what I call lazy thumb syndrome. I seem to forget to follow through sometimes. Come around towards the flag. That's okay. Not too much movement on this one. It's ever so slightly downhill. But it's pretty straight. Just. Now this potentially is reachable. Needs a good swing though. Pulled it a little bit. Could do with a nice little bounce to the right. Oh, it got one. Pleased with that result. Now I've got an eagle putt here, slightly downhill, a couple of inches downhill, so we'll bring the aim marker back a little bit. And as you can see, this is a bit of a double breaker. It starts off going right to left, and then it comes back left to right towards the end. Now do they cancel each other out? I've got a feeling it will go slightly more at the end. It's difficult to tell, but I'm going to aim it slightly left of the hole on that basis and let's see what happens turn do you know what I think that could have been straight I think if I'd aimed straight that might have gone in okay we'll put that one down to a misread
That's a birdie though. Right, par three. I haven't done particularly well on the par three so far, so let's see if we can put that right here. Just increase the loft just a little bit. to increase the loft more than I did that's gone gone long but it's on the green four inches downhill Turn. That's not going to turn. Ah, a little bit too hard, and I think I misread it slightly as well. It's a really nice course, though. It's very pleasant. It's it's not too difficult. It's nicely laid out. It's a nice setting for a course as well. Oh dear. Well, I got away with that because that was a terrible swing. But I've managed to stay on the fairway and I can still reach the screen in two. This is looking nice. Go on, get in that hole. Oh, that's a great shot. Stop now. Got that for Eagle. a good eagle still one more par 5 to come at the 18th a long par 4 here but it's quite severely downhill so it's going to be playing a lot shorter than the 507 yards on the card Three seventy two off the tee, that's a nice drive. One hundred and thirty eight, but it's nineteen feet downhill, so we can take off approximately six yards. It's about one hundred and thirty two. One hundred and thirty two. Now, Matthew's bag is similar to mine. If you look at the jump from the gap wedge at one hundred and twenty five yards to a pitching wedge of one hundred and forty four, I've got a similar problem in my own bag which I need to address because that's quite a big gap. I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take a little bit off the loft. I'm downhill as actually thinking about it, I'm downhill so it's going to shoot forward anyway. Okay, now let's go with that. Oh, I've pulled it. Look at that swing plane. It's terrible. Timing was good. Oh, I got a very fortunate roll. Not too much movement on this one.
a little bit lucky there with the with the second shot, but it's nice to have a bit of luck now and again. Got the toilets there just to the left, just in case you need to go. Now this is 408 yards. Yeah, there's no shortcut here. It's going to have to be played as a dog leg. That's fast as well. Not swinging very well. Ooh. Another lucky bounce back onto the fairway. Ball quite a bit below my feet here though. Do not want to go right. Well, I'm not going to go right, that's for sure. Not with a swing like that. Right, safely on. See if we can two-putt this for par. Put the flag in. Well, I've hit it perfect, but I haven't quite got the the line or the dis distance right, but it's a safe par. That fairway slopes down from the left, so... And the wind's off the left as well, so I need, what I'm going to do here, I think I'll hit a bit of a draw. That's a better swing. There's no bunkers around this green, I think. That's lacking. I think I would have liked to have seen a couple of sand traps, maybe one around there where the aim pointer is and maybe another one on the opposite side of the green. There's no real no real trouble around the around the green. I might go for the pitch here actually. Need that to run like crazy. Go on, uh, misjudged that one a bit. too hard actually it wasn't bad for pace in the end okay, just three holes remaining par four here need to avoid that rock in the fairway wind off the right Safely on the fairway. Long way to go though, 186 yards. Oh no. That's a shocking swing. Shame. I've left myself a really tricky downhill chip. Uh, same tactic as I've been doing all the way along, but now 
luckily, can you see there, when I go past the hold, it does go uphill a bit, which will give me a little bit of a backstop. But this is going to be tough. If I get this within six feet, I will be delighted. Yep, happy with that. So we've got a par 3 and a par 5 to come. Here's the par 3. We got like a two-tier green here. The flag is on the right-hand side, which is the upper tier. 157. Let's go with the 99. If it does go a little bit long, there is a bit of a backstop there. Something tells me it's not going to go long though. Oh, it's gone right. That's a so the swing plane has caused that. I've sort of pushed it to the right. Now, quite simply here, don't go past the hole, because if I go past the hole, it is just going to keep on running. So if this is a few feet short, I really don't mind too much. Oh dear, that might need to slow down. Oh, it hit the hole. Okay, final hole. Par 5, 533. Let's see if we can birdie this one. Could really do with hitting the fairway, though. It's a nice swing. That should be fine. Now, is that out of bounds there? Yes, it is. Can you see there look, on the map? We've got an out of bounds area. There were others on the course as well. I didn't obviously notice those, but um, okay, it's worth bearing in mind. Two hundred and fourteen yards. I think I'm going to stick with a five iron here. Just needs a kind bounce now and run. Go on. Yeah, it's a nice shot. This is for Eagle. That's a great finish. Minus 12, I'll take that. I made a few mistakes along the way, but um, all in all, it's a reasonably solid round. Well, I really enjoyed the course. I thought it was, it was kind of simple by design, but nicely laid out. It was very pleasant to play. Um, in high winds, I would imagine that would be a tough one. But uh, no, congratulations to the course designer. I really enjoyed it. If you've not played it yet, I recommend it. That's Buckstone Valley Ranch. And um, yeah, brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And if there's anything else you'd like to see in terms of uh, PGA Tour 2K23 content then drop a comment down below and I will do my very best to accommodate. Well, take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.